Yeah. You know, overwhelm is part of is part of being human, right? So it's feeling threatened. So are any of those trauma symptoms. Um, what we're looking for is repetition. So if you're finding that you're repeatedly experiencing the same kind of emotion in response to the same kind of situations, mm. or as you say, all that behavioral stuff, which is often missed. We, we, some people call them survival strategies, different strategies we have to help us cope with life and help us manage our feelings. If actually you're realizing they're, they're actually not very helpful and they are repetitive. I'm doing them in response to the same type of situations to that. The truth is all of those strategies help us avoid our feelings somehow. Mm. That's what they're all designed to do. So all the survival set strategies that link to anything traumatic are about avoidance. So they help us push our feelings away. So if you think about things like, um, uh, I mean, there are the control ones that you've just mentioned. So if I'm really, really in control, I don't experience that, that rising sense of fear or rising sense of shame that I have that's coming up. Um, but then also there are the compulsive behaviors that I think a lot of people can relate to, like compulsive eating, mm. um, compulsive distraction is a big one nowadays. You know, we're just constantly flicking through our phone, yeah. um, looking online. And again, I am not saying that everyone that is scrolling through their phone right this minute is experiencing a traumatic, re- is experiencing a traumatic reaction. What I'm saying is if it's repetitive, if it's repetitive and it's in response to the same kind of situations, we mm. might begin to think about, okay, well, is something triggering me? Mm. So is something in my environment today reminding me of a past relationship, a past threat, a past situation, a past parent, whatever it might be. And then it's triggering that response within me. So it's the.